good morning students so in this class we will be learning about the continued part of mendelian genetics and in this particular video we will be learning three topics namely ligand and recombination in case of maize plant polygenic inheritance in case of corn kernel and cell sterility in case of nicotiana or tobacco plant let me explain in detail with each of the topics Firstly, we will go to the topic linkage and recombination. So, what do I mean by linkage and recombination? So, we are you know about genes. So, there are going to be numerous genes in case of both plants as well as animals. They will undergo a linkage or a crossing over at a point of time. Or the region where they undergo this recombination can be called as That is the reason why the offspring's born will have or will share the characters both of a father as well as mother. This linkage as well as the recombination is a resultant of the children getting both the characters or both the attributes of father as well as mother. Like the father may be good at knowledge, the mother may be very fair in condition. The baby will be getting. both the character that is the result of this particular recombination so when there are present of two genes they undergo a crossing over like one gene will crosses with that of another gene this is a can be called as a chiasma this can be called as a chiasma and this is the recombination so one part of the chromosome will be uh, recombined with that of the another part of the chromosome that is the formation of a recombinant species that is the formation of a recombinant species or a new one so that can be explained with the help of an example of maize it was first discovered and put forth by hutchinson hutchinson was the person who discovered the linkage and recombination in case of a maize plant so for an example we have taken two plants one was with a normal color and round seeds the uh, maize kernel the maize kernel will be having a color one with a proper shape of seeds so that was explained with the help of a two species by hutchinson one was having a, a normal color that is yellow in color with a proper shape of the seed and other plant was colorless in which it was not so colorful it was dim in color and shape the seeds were not in a proper shape these two plant cells Okay, so when this happens, when this happens, the next progeny of this particular 
particular morphon are red and not discharged here. Yeah. You can observe that. See, this, this we are having in the each of the planet square we are having various genes here. So capital A, capital A, capital B, capital B. We are having two different genes here. These two different genes are responsible for developing a particular color. That is what is said about your polygenic inheritance. See, if a single gene is responsible for one color, then we have normal inheritance. But here we are having two of the genes are responsible for a particular color. In case there is no presence of capital B and capital B, there is no red color of type. If there is only presence of capital B and capital B, and no capital A and capital A, and there will be no red color. There should be presence of both capital A, capital A, capital B, capital B for the red color to be obtained here. Likewise, when I cross them in the cross multiplication, I got these things. Capital A, capital B, capital B, capital B, red, dark, dark, medium, light, medium, medium, dark, dark, medium, medium, light, medium, light, light, white. See, you can observe that you have got different things. One, red color is there, dark color color is there, medium color. So it is neither completely dark or not completely light. It is just a medium in color. That is what we mean by the medium color color and the white color color. See, all these various characters. So this is a, each one is a character. One, one may be having light color colors. One may be having dark color colors. These are the different things we can come across. But all these characters are controlled by only these two. Of genes. That's what we mean by this polygenic inheritance. All these characters are controlled by only these two pairs of genes, and we don't have a separate gene for each of the characters here. This is what we mean by a polygenic inheritance. Again, this will be an important question. They will ask you about polygenic inheritance. What do you mean by polygenic inheritance? We should have to define. As I said, polygenic inheritance is a condition where a single character will be controlled by more than two or three pairs of genes. That is what I mean by polygenic inheritance. And the last concept we are going to complete here is self-study in case of tobacco or nicotianum. This will be the last part of your second unit in paper 7 of your DSC. That where is the last part having self sterility in case of tobacco or nicotiana. So, here we can observe that. So, in case of a tobacco plant, there is a complete prohibition or complete avoiding of your self sterility. The plants will never be self pollinated, the plants will never get self pollinated at all because of this particular phenomenon or mechanism working in case of this particular plant, tobacco or nicotiana plant. So, what is that being happening here? So, we have got a set of alleles here like S1, S2, and S3. These are responsible for reproduction to occur. If a plant should undergo reproduction, if there is a need for the sexual reproduction, there should be presence of particular genes. So, we have got only three alleles in case of SL strategy, and that is a new theory proposing five alleles. As I am explaining here, only about three alien system, there is a next system called as five alien system which is still under the progress. They are working on it to explain about this particular five alien system, but we are sticking on only with that of the three alien system. So if you are having these three aliens here, so what are all the possibilities of forming a gene? We know that a pair of aliens will form your gene. So here, if these three are the different aliens, so we can get the one possibility of your gene, S1, S2, and the second possibility will be having S2 and S3, and third possibility will be having S1 as well as S3 here. Yeah. These are the only three possibilities, as you can say, there are no other possibilities at all. So, these are the three possible genes for the present of these three alleles here. Yeah. So, how will this mechanism work? So, let us take an example. One of the female plant is having S1 and S2 gene. This is one gene which is having in case of female or on stigma. Let us take an example. This gene is present in the stigma. In case, we the same gene which is in the pollen. Like we know, pollen and stigma. 
stigma or responsible for the fertilization or uh, cross pollination or any fertilization to occur or any sexual reproduction to occur in case of a plant we require these two things one is pollen right as well as stigmatic surface in the stigmatic surface of a flower is having this particular gene and the pollen gene is also the same thing there will be no fertilization occurring so this is completely avoided the self fertilization are you getting my point here see this is a similar one having a gene s1 and s2 and if the pollen grain which is from a plant if it is of the same plant again this will also be having the same gene that is s1 and s2 if these two will uh, fall upon each other they will never react they will never react that is the mechanism happening in case of cell sterility or tobacco or nicotia on plant so if the pollen grain is of Yes, two is three types. So I should be about these three. This one has been masked here. Other two are formed. If these two pollen grains are falling upon this particular stigma, there will be a fertilization. There will be a pollination, or a successful pollination will be occurred in this particular thing here. Now, yeah, what? Light, sir. Yeah.